A little goes a long way, especially when you're doing the daily work of Donald Springer in the city of Steubenville. Donald is our News 9's Addison's Achiever this week, and News 9's Addison Albert is here to tell you why. The town's looking pretty good right now. Hey, that's good. You may see him day to day, but you might not know his name. He works endlessly behind the scenes, making the city of Steubenville a more beautiful place. I mean, they got cars. You can drive around, look, and see what the problem is. Meet Donald Springer. He's lived in the city of Steubenville since the early 80s and spends his days cleaning up the streets of the city, one trash bag at a time. How has it changed from when you were younger to now? Uh, it's, it's a lot worse. It's, the litter wise, people's attitudes totally different now. It's like we didn't throw this down. We're not picking it up. He carries around a notepad to remember what areas he's cleaned last. Are you alone whenever you're walking or? Yeah, I'm alone. Uh, that's the only hard part about it. You're alone when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So how does that make you feel? Do you wish that there were other people doing it with you? No, I just stay focused. I wish there's other people, but I, like I said, I don't ask for help. I, I do everything on my own. Yeah. And I, and I'm. If anyone wants to go out and pick up, you're not hurting me. Go ahead and do yeah, it. Yeah, come on They're, over, right? Yeah, come over and do it. You don't have to have me there. <laughs> He says he's had people throw trash at him while picking up trash, but it doesn't stop him. He avoids private yards and stays mostly in the streets and open lots. So how many bags of trash have you picked up? This one today is, well, it was five today. And then uh, all together, uh, 546 bags like this. 546 bags just in the city of Steubenville. Yeah, just just the downtown area clear up to about A Street. I've been friends with Donald for a number of years and uh, I encourage him to do what he's been doing over the last few years, picking up trash throughout the city. Also at the marina, up at Lay Bell, down at Beatty Park, wherever you go around, he is there. He typically has to leave the trash bags in a pile once he's done for the day, but says he'd rather the city have something easy to pick up rather than let the random trash fly around. Some make comments says you're enabling this to get worse because the city, you pay taxes, they're supposed to take care of it. They see you coming and you just go and clean it up for free when they should be cleaning it up. And I, I don't feel that way. If you see it, pick it up. One of the most common things to find yep. is clothing. Really? Oh, it's everywhere. Shoes, anything, it's clothing you'll find. He also finds cigarette cartons, disintegrating plastic bottles, ice cream containers, and more. And the common thing is, is the, uh, when someone tears a bag open, they think that it's so innocent, I'm gonna tear it, just open it potato chips and throw that little corner piece away and it ain't gonna hurt nothing, it'll blow away and it ends up in a big pile somewhere in the corner of a building in the lot. Mm, so even the little things. Yeah, those little things, they pile up. This breaks down and turns into pollution in the soil. This summer, he plans to go down North 5th Street in the 100 block near the railroad to plant his flowers. And I talk to everybody. I don't know strangers. Look, you think I was friends with you. I know, right? And I talk to you just like you know me. <laughs> he says that his honest reason for picking up the trash is that he wants the city to be a welcoming place for others, one they would be happy to come to. And that is also the reason behind his random planting of flowers downtown. Physically, it takes its toll on your back, too. So, but I ain't complaining because I'm going to come out no matter what. It's not that he's having to do it or it's a penalty for him, he enjoys it. That's that's the big part. Uh, doing something for your city, bring, giving back and enjoying what you're doing. And when you step back and look at what you've just accomplished in cleaning air, an area, that's as, that's as rewarding as catching a football in the end zone. How do you feel about winning uh, Addison's Achievers? Someone nominated you that was a complete stranger. So how do you feel about that? Uh, I feel okay, I met you. <laughs> and, I, and that's special to me right yeah. there. I enjoy that. Didn't disappoint? No, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Safe to say, I think I've gained a friend in Donald as well.
If you'd like to nominate someone, head to our website, WTOV9.com. For now, I'm Addison Elbert with News 9's Addison's Achievers. Yeah! Hi, I'm Dylan Cleland. Thanks for watching. And here's another video to check out. And be sure to subscribe to our channel.